you know, when you are thinking about marketing, you might get exhausted. I mean, look in that description below of all the things that you could do for marketing. And a lot of people are expecting from themselves that they're supposed to do all of those things. No wonder it's exhausting. Just reading that list below is exhausting. And so one of the very first things I teach my clients is, well, what feels good to you? Actually, today I was just talking to a friend about marketing. And one of the things she can't stand doing is just kind of talking out into the void. She's amazing on video and people love her personality, but she hates talking to the void. So like doing the Facebook Live is never going to work for her. So actually tomorrow what we decided we're going to do is talk marketing in an interview. That's a strategy that I love it's a strategy that she loves yesterday again I was talking to another friend who said I would never do a blog I would only write for other publications so that I could have a wider reach and I was like that's great I love that people know what works for them but if you are trying to do all the things and be on all the platforms it's not going to feel right for you I have to admit last year last summer I got really sucked into TikTok and TikTok is really fun and really interesting. And I learned a lot about diff people who are totally different, have different lifestyles than me. And there was definitely a nagging thought in my brain that I should be doing TikTok. I should get on TikTok. I could talk to a camera. I, I'm not going to like dance and point to point to, you know, words, but I could certainly get on TikTok because I don't mind talking to a camera. Right. But it just ultimately, I didn't have the capacity for it. It just didn't feel like the right platform for me. So I love Facebook and I like Instagram and that's where I generally show up. I never show up on LinkedIn, even though I could be there. But again, it's about capacity. And so all I wanted to talk to you today is about what is your capacity? Does showing up on one platform feel good to you? Like, do you love, love, love Instagram stories? Are you even showing up there? Or are you trying to do Instagram stories and your Instagram grid and show up on Facebook and also go over to LinkedIn and send an email and write a blog and do a Pinterest without any help, without any strategy? So I just wanted to ask you, is your negative thoughts about marketing and the exhaustion that even thinking about it causes you partly because you think you have to be everywhere. You don't. Where are your people? Where is your audience? Please start there. Are your people generally on Facebook? Like, are they in that demographic of people and that psychographic who like to be on Facebook? Or are they on Instagram? Find them, focus on your people, and then also decide where do I belong? Where do I like? What feels good for me? And what's the nexus there? What's the intersection that you can find a place for marketing that feels good for you? I have plenty of clients who never send emails to their list, even though I would love for them to send emails to their list. We have to find out what's right for you. So I just wanna encourage you to find a place that is right. And I would love to hear below, like what is something you'll never do? For me, I never wanna do a free Facebook group, but other people love free Facebook groups and they love to show up there for their people. I love showing up for my communities, my, my mastermind and my um, members Facebook group, but like I don't really have it in me to do a free Facebook group. So what are the things that you never want to do in your marketing? I would love to hear below. If you could drop me a note, I would really appreciate that. I hope you have a wonderful, exhaustion-free day. Bye-bye.